Hey guys, today we're going over recursive sequences. So we've been talking about arithmetic sequences and geometric sequences. So um, just a reminder, arithmetic is going to be a sequence, which remember sequence is just a fancy name for a pattern. Created by adding. Okay, that's the important part. You're adding to get to that next term. Now remember, we're going to have a common difference with arithmetic. Geometric sequence is a sequence, which again is just a pattern. But this time it's created by multiplying. And that's the key there to tell between arithmetic and geometric sequences. Um, remember, this one has a common ratio instead of the common difference. So recursive sequences just pre presents the arithmetic and geometric sequences in a different format. So it's stuff we already have learned. You're just going to see it in a different way. So recursive is going to give you... And real quick, recursive, if you look it up, recursive just means it's a repeated pattern. Repeated pattern. Okay? So it's going to give you the next term in a pattern. And then it's either going to give you the common oops, ratio or the common difference. So it's going to give you those things in order to figure out the pattern. Um, things to remember that we've talked about, A1 refers to the first term. So A2 would be the second term. Okay, so if we look at arithmetic and geometric sequences, arithmetic, again, that's going to be adding or subtracting, you're going to be given a formula that looks like a n equals a n minus 1 plus d. The a n is going to stand for any term. So if you want to find the hundredth term, the five hundredth term, the fifth term, any term is a n. The a sub n minus 1 is the previous term, so the term before it. So if you wanted to find the fifth term, you need the term before it, the fourth term, right? And then D is referring to the common difference. Okay. For geometric, again, this one means to multiply. So this formula is going to be A sub N equals r times a sub n minus 1. So again, a n stands for any term. r is the common ratio. And then a n sub 1, again, is the previous term. So again, stuff you've already learned, you just have to um, look at it in a different different way. So one through 
six says determine if the sequence is arithmetic or geometric then find the first five terms in the sequence so the first um thing to do is just determine if it's arithmetic or geometric since we are adding here remember adding or subtracting is always going to be arithmetic so that's how i know that okay it gives me a1 is seven so the first term in here is seven this is a1 a2 a3 a4, A5. So I already have A1. It gave it to me, right? Now it gives me this formula here. AN equals A sub N minus 1 plus 3. So again, if I want to find any term in the sequence, and this time I want to find A2, I'm going to take the previous term, so in my case, I'm taking A1 because I want to find A2, and I'm adding 3. So from here to here, I'm adding 3. So the next term would be 10. If I want to find A2, I'm taking the previous term, adding 3. So 13, previous term, add 3, I get 16. Previous term, add 3 and I get 19. So again, pretty straightforward. Let's look at this next one. First, if it's arithmetic or geometric, so again, this negative or minus six right here tells me it's arithmetic since I'm subtracting. So that's how I know that. A1 is given to me, right? Right here it says A, whoops. A1 is, 13. Now, the formula tells me to find any term in the sequence, I'm going to take the previous term and subtract 6 from it. So if I want to find A2, I'm going to take the previous term, 13, and I'm going to subtract 6. So 13 minus 6 is 7. To find A3, subtract 7 minus 6, and I get 1. A4, 1 minus 6, I get negative 5. And then A5, negative 5 minus 6, and I get negative 11. Okay. Next one, I got to determine if it's arithmetic or geometric. So this time... My formula is 5 times a sub n minus 1. So since I'm multiplying, that tells me that it is going to be a geometric. Multiplying is geometric. Again, it already gave me a 1 right here. A 1 is negative 3. I'm going to put negative 3 here. Then I look at my formula in order to find a 2. So I want to find any term. In this case, I want to find a 2. So to find a 2... Find A2, I take 5 times the previous term, which was negative 3, which gives me negative 15, right? So to get from negative 3 to negative 15, I'm multiplied by positive 5, not negative 5. Okay, so if I want to find A3, I'm going to multiply negative 15 times 5 and I'm going to get negative 75. Negative 75 times 5 is negative 375. And then lastly, negative 375 times 5 is negative 1,875. So again, to find any term, you just take the previous term and multiply by 5. Okay, 4, we're going to determine if it's arithmetic or geometric. That um, because we're multiplying by one half right here, that tells me that it's going to be geometric because we're multiplying, we're not adding or subtracting. It gives me A1, right here it tells me A1 is 1,024. So I know A1 is 1,024. Now to get A2, to find any term, I multiply one half times 1,024. So one half, multiplying by half is the same thing as dividing by two, right? 
So 1024 divided by 2 is 512. Then times it by half to get to the next term. And I get 256. Times it by half. 128. One last time, times it by half, and I get 64. Okay, next one, I know that this one is going to be um, arithmetic because it's a minus seven. So since we're subtracting, it's arithmetic. It gives me a one, a one is negative 15. So negative 15 is a one. So in order to get any term in the sequence, I'm gonna take the previous term, so negative 15 and subtract seven. So negative 15 minus seven is negative 22. Negative 22 minus seven is negative 29. Negative 29 minus seven is negative 36. Negative 36 minus seven is negative 43. Okay, and then number last, First thing, I'm going to see if it's recursive. I mean, if it's arithmetic or geometric, and I know it's geometric because I'm multiplying by that 1.5 instead of adding or subtracting, so geometric. The first term here is going to be four, tells me. A1 is four. Okay, to get to the next term, I'm multiplying by 1.5. So four times 1.5 is going to give me four not four, sorry, six. Six times 1.5 is going to give me nine. Nine times 1.5, oops, is going to give me 13.5. And then 1.5 times 13.5 is 20.25. And that's it, pretty straightforward. Um, if you're adding or subtracting, it's arithmetic if you're multiplying it is geometric um, and it gives you the formula on how to find the next term any term in the sequence you just need that previous term okay bye y'all have a great rest of your day